Hey, what's up everyone? So you can see behind me, we got a little bit of snow. I ended up getting about 14 inches where I'm at in Vermont. So I've been doing quite a bit of plowing. Today I actually hit the corner of a frozen snow bank and broke the shear pin. So I'm gonna show you what I do to replace it. Uh, there's no additional parts required, at least if this is the first time. The uh, shear pin's good for multiple uses. I don't know if that's for all plows, but I'm running a Glacier Pro 66 inch. Uh, so that I will show you how to switch it over and, and uh, keep on plowing. Stay tuned. So if you've ever broken a shear pin, you'll know right away because you hear a loud snap and then your, your blade just goes free. So what we're gonna be, uh, well, in this instance, we're gonna be flipping around, but that's the shear pin right there. And it's held in with just a retaining pin and then a couple of springs. So what we're gonna do first, we just need a pair of pliers uh, and we're just gonna be removing these springs and pushing out the retaining pin and uh, flipping this thing upside down. And it's the same process for replacing it. All right, first thing you're gonna do is remove the springs. So you can just, actually it's probably easier to get them from the bottom. Set those aside. And then you've got the retaining pin. Then you just flip the, uh, the grab bar out of the way. You can use your retaining pin to remove the, uh, the shear pin. And let me show you. So that's what sheared off. And this is double sided. So what you'll do is just flip it upside down. Put it in. You can uh, put the grab bar back on and slide your, your pin back in. Put your springs back on. And that's all there is to it. Only took about 45 seconds, I'd say. So that's the same process for if it's a new pin that you're replacing but now it's going to be able to lock back into place let me show you so there you go now you're able to adjust the plow however you want and uh good to keep on plowing thanks for watching